Picture a nine-year-old that goes to school all day, then goes to sports for two hours after school, and then comes home remembering the four hours of homework that she has to do that night. If the kids haven't learned the concepts by the time they leave the classroom, homework is pointless. If it's a student's job to go to school and the teachers are working the kids too hard, wouldn't it be considered as child labor? I bet, this is, I bet you've thought of this many times when you're reading a book, writing an essay, or even just doing math. Kids can be worked way too hard and can be given more homework than they can handle. You need at least nine to 10 hours of sleep every night, but in reality, we only get about seven. This can affect you for the next day or even the rest of the week. If you play sports and you have a lot of homework, that doesn't really mix. Many kids around the world play different types of sports at different times of the day. But this could cause a problem, especially if you practice weekday nights. You need at least 10, scientists say that 10 minutes of homework is about the right amount of time every night. But that doesn't really happen. You get hours on end of work. This can take away family and friend connections, and it can also take away sleep. US test scores are one of the lowest. The cause, homework. As you can see, math and science are pretty low, and in reading, we're not the lowest, but still below the average. Many kids struggle with getting work done on time. This can lead to stress. Have you ever sat down to do homework and then realized everything that you could have could be doing that at the, right then? that's not homework, this is called procrastination. As you see, when you actually sit down to do homework, there's a lot of stuff that you could do that's not homework. Like, you could check your phone a few times, see if someone texted you, you could get, get up because your brain tells you that you're hungry, or you could find one of the most boring things to look at, and you can find it incredibly interesting. This can add to your already long time of doing homework. So in this one way, homework could help manage time better. Many elementary schools have decided to take away homework. But when they reach the middle school, they can get blasted with tons of homework and they won't know what to do, they won't know how to act, and they might not even get the concept of homework. But then the schools that decided not to take it away could be giving out way too much. Kindergartners could be coming home with at least 25 minutes every night. Scientists say they shouldn't be getting any at all. Studies have shown that if you have over an hour of homework, you could have a declination on tests, you could score poorly, and you could become tired easier. The suggested attention span is about a half an hour, but homework can span out to over an hour or even two. That means that the stuff that you decide to do last won't be as thought out, won't get as good of a grade, and you just won't do that well on it. Um, the, the, but students that don't have very good grades do, couldn't end up not doing very well with life and getting jobs. This, and parents that don't have a college degree could end up fighting more often with their kids about school than parents with a degree. This can make the kids more stressed. They could confide in alcohol or drugs. More than two-thirds of high schoolers say that they use some kind of drug to cope with the stress of school and the work that comes with it. School, homework, sleep, repeat. That's all it feels like, doesn't it? You go to school all day, and then once you come home, you have to do more school. You barely have enough time for homework, for friends, family, and much more. But, so overall, teachers can be ending up to giving out way too much homework. We just need to figure out what the right dosage is. Currently, it's much too high. 